Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the current climate of Magic the Gathering being very political and who is contributing to this. So, Unsleeve Media obviously is quite political in his statements, uh, that is known, but many of you, well, many people do not know that the mana source is just as political and on the opposite side. Uh, many of his fans don't even know he has a Twitter. Uh, he has far more subscribers on his YouTube channel than on his Twitter. Uh, some of you have asked, why am I so tough on him? Because he's supposedly doing physical therapy right now. It's because he is collecting money from making YouTube videos. He was given a card to spoil. He didn't make a video on it. The last video he made is, at least at this time of recording, is him in the hospital a day after surgery. So if he can make a video then with an update, you would expect him to make a video now. But instead, he is talking political rhetoric. And I'm going to make a whole nother video on this particular issue, but no, just know that 95% of his tweets are political in nature, and so is Tolarian Community College. Um, these are people who are interested. Uh, their, their entire livelihoods depend on them appealing to the mass for donation. If they did not have appeal, they would not make any money and they would starve. This is the fact. This is fact. They are not a starving artist. They are well fed. Some of one of them more well fed than the other, I assume. And actually, they're so well fed that they have health problems. Huh, kind of weird, right? But anyway, um, that aside, one of the crazy parts about this uh, political divide. Unsleeve Media is taking advantage of it. Uh, he is, and so am I, but the other side as well, Tolarian and the Mana Source, take as much advantage. Here you can see Tolarian saying, I hate him. That's a very strong condemnation from Tolarian to all his subscribers, uh, 2.4 thousand views. Tolarian is not some lovey-dovey professor, uh, you know, college professor. He's not even a college. I would not consider him a college professor. He... If you go online and research his name, I could give you his full name, but I'm not going to. You're going to find out some very strange things. Um, he doesn't have many published papers. He doesn't have any critical claim. I mean, he was a college professor, at least when I, I went to college at NYU, and I went to law school at William & Mary, and a professor's job, part-time job, was to publish and be... Uh, move the needle, if you will, in research in either uh, legal realms or in biology. Uh, every professor has a lab. And in addition to teaching students, they would try to publish papers and or uh, make discoveries. Tolarian doesn't have any of this. Um, and that is rare for a, if you look at any English professor at the top university, I don't, I can't talk about community college because I don't know. Um, I, I assume it's the same. Um, I assume that a community college professor wants to publish and work really hard. He was lazy. There's no other way to say it. He was lazy then and he's lazy today. And that's why you collect donations. When we talk about society, um, we talk about, uh, in Houston, we have a homeless problem. It's so bad that in my downtown office, my employees and I have to leave before six o'clock. Um, if you have ever been to downtown Houston, after seven o'clock well it depends on the time right so after sunset it's a zombie apocalypse of homeless people and they uh, generally are friendly but sometimes they're drunk sometimes they're violent um, it is not a safe place especially for our female workers uh, we work there weekends too and the weekends are you know just as bad um, so we're trying to move into a safer area a work area but when we talk about society uh, typically, people who ask for donations, they're not lauded. They're not um, put on a pedestal. 
But in magic, it's the reverse. Hardworking people like you and I, who work 40 hours, maybe even more a week, are punished by Wizard of the Coast, even banned. People who work really hard、um, at retail stores or just to buy packs of magic. I mean, I know what that's like. When I was much younger, I'm old now, so yeah, I'm old.、Um, they're, get, they're getting punished in lieu of people who are, are in other societies. If we go back to any society,、uh, typically artists were starving, right? The artists were starving, and only after they passed away did they become famous, and their artwork was appreciated. And part of that starving made, I think, their artwork better. Now, that's Debatable, but that's my opinion. Here we have a situation where people are being lazy and being rewarded for being lazy. People are being rewarded for not having health insurance. And you might be like, oh, well, he didn't get rewarded for not having health insurance. That was just、uh, a blimp. No, this has happened all the time.、Uh, Tolarian's basement got flooded and he got rewarded $11,000 from one Patreon to fix his basement. People in Houston, their base, we don't have basements, right? Otherwise, it would just be flooded every year. During Hurricane Harvey, no one is like, oh, well, let's start a donation for everyone who had their homes flooded. No. Hardworking people are punished in our magic community to help the. In no other society can I imagine this being true. Like, if we stranded, we were stranded on a, on a beach and it was 100 of us, and 99 of us wanted to ask for donations and one of us was working, that would be the magic community. And you can see here that、um, the statements by Tolarian are very clever.、Um, they're clever in terms of getting donations. I think the whole objective should be getting donations. He has a family, he has a son, he has a wife. He lives in a very expensive area by choice. He can be a content creator anywhere he wants, but he w- wants to live in an expensive area.、Um, he is wealthy.、Um, he's making six figures. The majority of his patrons do not make that. And yet, there's no modesty. There's no. There's no appreciation.、Uh, and I, the mana source shows this. Via another video I made where a, a fan of his, very few people have ever donated me $10 a month. That's like limited to two people, and I know their names, right? And for over seven months, the guy donates over seven months, asks for a signed bulk card. A signed bulk card. Or, and at one point, he just wants tracking. He, in seven months, is never given tracking. tracking And the mana source to make it right gives him $10 back out of the 70 and wastes his time for seven months. This is a fan. This is someone willing to donate $10 a month to the mana source who's not probably making that much money. $10 is an hour. It's an hour of the majority of Americans' time. Now, most people make $10 or less, at least in Texas. So, This is my biggest criticism on the, the Mana Source and Tolarian Community College. They are so far above the average Magic player that they don't understand what's happening here. They are instigating hate, they're instigating violence,、uh, they're instigating all of these things where they're not experts in. Wedge, what is Wedge's degree in? Women's studies, maybe? I don't know. I, it looks like he probably majored in women's studies.、Uh, what's Tolarian's degree in? He,、uh, ma- he has a master's in English. I don't remember if he has a PhD. I assume he does not. How are they qualified to speak on political issues like bigoted speech? How is he qualified to speak on issues like violence or I hate him? These are things that people are listening to them. So if they just made magic videos, yeah, that's great. But they're really, really hyper political on Twitter. Like, 
not a day goes by that the mana source isn't saying something like really out there. Like to me, so my policy is um, my parents immigrated to America. I was born in 1987 and my parents immigrated around 1989. Something really interesting happened then, team in square. So my parents, my father was on a student visa and George Bush Sr. And I will always love George Bush Sr. And you know, um, Barbara Bush, I donate to their charities. I love those. I love the Bush Jr., you know, mm, give or take, but I do love Bush Sr. and Barbara Bush um, because they, when Tiananmen Square happened, they did a executive order. And this is why I studied immigration in law school. This is why I wanted to be an immigration attorney and I still help out. And this is why I volunteered at the immigration detention center. Uh, he gave out a executive order. I used to know its number by heart. I'm blanking on it right now. And it allowed um, Chinese students on visas to apply for green cards. It gave them a path to citizenship when none existed before. And this was in the 1989, right? This was a while ago when, you know, pol political realms against China was very, very bad. Like, it, you know, it was hard for a Chinese person to get a U.S. green card. And my parents became citizens. I became a citizen. I was born in Shanghai. And my sister was born in the U.S. I will be forever grateful for them. And that's why I have certain leanings because everyone is biased, but I n I've never told you that story until right now. Um, and that's why I love the Bush family, although Bush Jr. and Jeb Bush kind of are out there, but I do, um, I try my best to support them on policies because they have changed my life. And it would be reckless for me to say that I didn't go to law school because I wanted to be do this and help people. And they were Republicans, but they were humans. And they understood that you can't send these students on visas in America back to China after that incident. You, can't, you cannot do it um, because, you know, Tiananmen Square was students. It was students at the university my dad went to or my dad taught at. And he went to, like, it was students. And it was very violent. And uh, things have got much better now. But... This is why I feel really strongly, but I don't, it's not like I'm making these opinions up. I've researched it. I have taken immigration class, which I got an A in law school. I have done uh, work at a detention facility in Virginia. I've done all this stuff. So when I talk about immigration, it's not just, oh, pit bulls. Everyone hates pit bulls, but I'm the man of sorts and I love pit bulls. It's so hollow, these statements they're making, because it's, it's so hollow. Like, um, I took a First Amendment class by Timothy Zick. He's a very first uh, famous person. I took a, a Constitution class with Van Austin, and he was not. He was on the short list to be a Supreme Court justice before he retired. Yes, that Supreme Court. I learned from the best, and I worked really hard because it had impacted my life. I grew up dirt poor. I grew up with no money. People who think that the mana source had it better than me have no understanding of my life. During birthday parties, we gave out, I had to give out a single pencil because that's all we could afford. That's it. Um, we didn't have money. We, I had, my parent, my mom had to cross eight lanes of highway to go grocery shopping. We had a car that honestly did not work 90% of the time. We went to this park. I, I forget. It was a public park. And we picked uh, chestnuts because there were chestnut trees. And we used to sell them in Chinatown. And that made more, doing that in two days, the weekend, made more money than my dad made in a week. So I don't want to hear you guys tell me that Wedge's life is so hard. Wedge grew up in middle America. He grew up in a white family. He grew up living in a house. I did not grow up living in a house. I grew up living in a one-bedroom apartment with my baby sister. And eventually, we worked hard. We grinded, and we lived. The America is amazing, and people will give you opportunities, but you have to go after them. You have to go after them. 
if you really believe that Wedge had less advantages than I did as a kid, as an immigrant kid born in China, coming over to the U.S. with no one knowing no one in the U.S., you have no idea what the blank you're talking about. My life was tough, and that is why I've scaled. Wedge's life was so easy that this is why he does not have health insurance. Why would he need it? Anyway, bye guys.